what's up guys average kiwi guy here how y'all doing so arrows back sweet yes i'm glad it's back um i missed it i missed it and i missed doing these so it's good to have it back and we're getting pretty close to the the final uh episode i think we're about a month out i don't think it's got too long to go so it's coming up pretty fast um you know the whole, i'm very excited to see the final sort of confrontation with um with prometheus um i think it's going to be pretty cool so we'll we'll get there but we're not there yet so you guys know the drill uh i'm gonna spoil the hell out of this video um so if you have not seen it please go and watch it i don't want to ruin it for you so please go watch it then come on back you'll know what we're talking about then and you know i won't ruin it for you okay all right so spoilers are incoming all right so dangerous liaisons um very much a felicity uh episode this one and you guys know i'm not the biggest felicity fan i'm not um i think she's a you know she's a lovely character i, I like you know the actress who plays her plays her well you know she, she's a good character i like her but as a green arrow fan i'm like why is she so involved in everything like i just like i see her and i just go why couldn't all this effort have gone into laurel you know the actual you know love interest and essentially the second most important character in the green arrow universe no okay you know, that sort of thing. That's that's the only thing I have against Felicity. Otherwise, she's a great little character and I like her. I really do. Um, she can just get on my nerves sometimes. That's all. But this one was definitely a, a Felicity episode. And it basically was her deciding, like, am I going to keep going down this road that I am doing? Like, am I going to keep, you know, doing whatever it takes to uh, catch asian chess she does she does um and the team just lets it happen like it just she just so argus you know they they need to hack argus to find this super hacker dude that uh that hi that helix wants hydra uh, agents of agents of shield right now um that helix wants and they need these security keys that Argus has. They need two of them. And they get one by killing some dude that was a link to um freaking Chase in an elevator. Just bounced him up and down and killed him that way. That was brutal, by the way. And takes the key there. And Felicity's like, oh, that's bad. It's like, mm, we need it. And so she's like, oh, okay. And then, like, the same... Like, when the team found out, they were like, oh, um so they killed that guy oh okay um felicity i don't think you should go there no i'm going there oh okay bye I killed a man <laughs> and it was an elevator is that not dangerous i don't know um and then yeah they go they hire mercs to go and get the other one and she rings up and goes oh i need you to let them have this you know just just cause, you know, just cause I, 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 I've got a, I've got a lead that I need to, need to go on. And they're like, oh, okay. Uh, Ollie, you, Oliver, you need to let, you know, this is John. Like, Ollie, oh, you need to let, uh, them have the key. What, oh, why? Oh, Felicity said so. Oh, okay. Since when does Felicity have this, like, you know, command of the freaking Team Arrow? Like, she just has this you know supreme leader freaking thing you know like whatever she says goes sort of thing like where did this come from like these are bad guys and they're trying to hack into this black ops you know freaking government agency and we think nothing of that <laughs> it, it, it just it made me laugh it made me laugh it was like guys you like for some people who want to stop her from doing this, you're not stopping her from doing this. Like, you're actually helping her do this. So, I, I don't know. 
I don't know. I think they need to rethink their strategy when they want to get Felicity not to do something. Um, but yeah, I mean, like, the whole Helix thing, you know, like, them breaking in to get this super hacker guy and all the rest of it. It's like, yeah, they're using Felicity. They're using her. And yeah, she gets a little bit out of it, but come on. Come on. They're using her. And she, she just is oblivious to it. She's so, like involved in what she's doing trying to get adrian chase and it feels like she's never actually said why she's doing this like she's never stated that she's doing it because her boyfriend died she does say like oh but ollie and john and all that do it so why can't i do it it's like no but that's a childish reason just because that person does it doesn't mean that you get to do it you know that that sort of thing so i still kind of want to know why she's doing this and if she's going to do it then do it commit to it you know don't be half and half and still be part of the team and then be part of helix go all in go join helix break away from the team and honestly i think it would be good for her i really do because i feel like if she could be off by herself she might actually develop more as a character she could gain another level to to her and a little bit but a depth to that character so i think that would be a good thing but they always want to keep her around ollie they always want to keep her around ollie they're determined for this elicity stuff you know this freaking oliver and felicity i'm like no <laughs> no that's like low like taking Cl lois away from clark and like putting someone else there enforcing it it's like no it's not it's not the way it works don't mess with that don't mess with it um but yeah and like freaking john freaking john i felt sorry for lila i really did i was like john she's the leader or like the yeah the leader of this black ops government spy agency she can't be like freaking hippy dippy green peace you know let everyone free it don't work that way that's like being married to james bond and go like oh he kills people and spies too much i might not like her like him anymore but still wants him to be 007 he's a spy <laughs> you know it's you have to accept that what her job is like, and if you don't want her to do that, maybe say, I don't think you should do that job anymore. I think it's changing you. Don't blame her for every dark decision that she has to make. You know, black ops site, you know, black sites and, you know, holding people because they're dangerous, you know, but they don't, haven't actually committed any crimes or anything. Like, you, these are decisions that she has to make in her job. You know, it pays the bills. Because I don't see John, I don't see John out there, pay, you know, paying the bills. She's the one paying them. So I was, I was a little like, like, come on, John. Come on, man. You know, this is, this is a, this is bad. This is bad. Like, you, you can't do that. Oh, yeah, so I felt sorry for Lila. I mean, he locked up his own brother. <laughs> he locked up his own brother. Bit him half to death. He didn't have a lawyer. He didn't get a trial. I don't know. Um, it's I guess it's like a do as I say, not as I do type thing. I don't know. Um, yeah, I mean, this episode went quite well. I mean, it, it had a lot of action stuff. It had some good fight scenes. It had some, you know... I still want Ollie, like, Ollie, just put the damn suit on. Put the damn suit on. Get back to being Green Arrow. Even if it's a new suit. Do you want to get a new suit? I wouldn't mind a new suit. You know, that's, you know... That sort of thing. Just come on, man. You're still doing the exact same thing. You're just using a gun, and it's it's like no, no. That's that's not that's not who you are. So I'd be happier when he suits back up again, uh, which would probably be pretty soon. Because I mean, Ollie goes through these like phases of like, no, nah, I don't really want to do that. I don't, you know, I I don't deserve to do that. And then, like, two episodes later, he's back doing that again. So, yeah. That's... I don't think it's going to last long. 
Um, what else was there? Oh, my two favorite uh, characters at the moment, to be honest. These two guys. And it's because they've been paired up. Renee and Quince. Uh, Qu- Quinton. Those two, man. I am... I'm loving what's going on with those two. Like, the sort of best buds type thing that's happening. You know, sort of the mentor thing that Quinton's doing with Renee and helping him out. And Renee helps him by keeping him sort of, you know on you know on the level and making sure he's not drinking and stuff like that it's fantastic i i love the way those two are developing and it's helping renee so much as a character so much as a character because at the start he was just like this thug that always wanted to shoot things all the time and it was like i really don't like you now he's one of my favorite characters he's you know the whole thing with his daughter and it was a no it was the emotional side of that entire episode. Like, all this stuff with Oliver and Felicity had nothing compared to what was happening with uh, Quentin and uh, Renee. And, you know, Renee with his daughter and stuff. It was one, probably the best part of the episode was those two. I really I really like the way those, those two are, you know, developing. And Quentin's getting a lot better. I like the way his character's going as well. It, they're making each other better. I think that's, again, that's getting them away from the team and letting them just blossom on their own. Like, let them have a little bit of a story on their own. I think it's doing a world of good for Renee. It really is. Um, And obviously, it's good to see him, you know, getting some good stuff, you know, in his life. You know, he's, you know, that whole thing with, you know, his daughter getting hurt. Like, we finally got a bit of a backstory on why the you know why his daughter was taken away and you know you know i get you know he's probably wasn't the most stable guy in the world but he's still gonna have a reason you can't just take someone because their mother died and you know he was still a good dad he was there he was working you know all, all the stuff but now we know why the whole passing out drunk and the soup you know le- you know falling and you know basically burning you know her her hand really badly um that was quite sad and it was you know you can see why he struggled like he had visitation rights and everything and he was just i don't deserve to i don't deserve to go there and to see her because i hurt her and i i hate myself for hurting her that that sort of thing you know i oh that was really cool oh that was really really cool um yeah i guess now it's just the freaking never-ending hunt for adrian chase seems to be the, the whole thing and um I, I like the arcade uh little scene at the start it kind of reminded me of something the joker would do like have that all set up and i was waiting for like a joker laugh to go off and as the gun was firing and it just seemed it had that joker feel i don't know why it just did um yeah it was it was pretty cool um, I'm liking the way Curtis is going more as Mr. Terrific, not really as Curtis. Curtis himself doesn't really interest me all that much, but Mr. Terrific is getting so much better. Now that he has his T-spheres and he's using them in, con- uh, in fights, now I'm pretty much not fighting himself. I'm okay with this. I mean, otherwise he just gets his butt kicked and he's he's a bit of a waste of space. Um, You know, in those fights when he does do that. Now that they've given him his T-Spheres, he's so much better. He's so much better. He's so much more useful. He's a far better, like, um, character, as in, like, a a vigilante character than what he was when they were trying to make him a brawler. It just wasn't working. It wasn't working. It wasn't believable. Um, So I'm so glad that I've, I've brought that in. And, yeah, I guess the big old, like, you know, Helix bugging out um abandoning felicity again i i would have liked them to have gone you know been there and go okay you have a choice you join us or you go with them there's no in between anymore you have to be one or the other and if you join us we're leaving we have to go and you know relocate so you'll be away from them you know, you'll be out of Star City. 
and that could have taken her away and she would have learned some new things and you know maybe develop more as a character in that way you know a lot a lot of uh characters have done that and have come back better for it so i might i kind of would have liked that i would have liked that you know given given her you know that sort of ultimatum but they sort of just like oh no we're gone bye um it was nice working with you thank you for getting everything that we wanted and we gave you some things but nah. um but we did leave you a present and it's just you know this little chip thing uh, again plugging in strange devices into your computer i just don't it's not a good idea it's not even especially from hackers and uh yeah the emp apparently it's an emp uh i'll watch the promos for the uh the next one and it fries felicity's um well you know deactivates felicity's uh spinal uh like biochip and um yeah i i don't know if it's helix or if it's actually adrian chase because that thing like narrowed in on where uh team arrow was and i just i don't think he would be that prepared to know that oh yeah this hacker guy can develop a program that can track a heartbeat and it would track him straight there i just i have a feeling that it could be helix but the way arrow normally goes it probably is adrian chase so um so it looks like it's a bit of a um sort of trapped um escape room type uh episode next week so that that looks pretty cool but they are pushing the whole felicity oliver love thing again probably prefer if they didn't go that direction but <sighs> they've put this much effort into felicity they might as well go the whole way right <laughs> oh well I, you, you can't you know it's still it's still going all right it's still going pretty good i'm enjoying arrow at the moment so yeah. all right guys that's it for us thank you very much for watching um remember this is a weekly thing so make sure you check out the uh the others and hit that subscribe button so you'll get the new one when it comes up next week um also we got a twitch channel twitch.tv slash the average kiwi guy uh hit that follow button to know when we go live and also follow us on twitter instagram you know, average QB guy, that old stuff. You know where it is. All right, guys, I'll catch you next time. Peace. Bye.